Welcome to Dyson Rice. Today I'm going to teach you about double buffering. What is double buffering, how does it work, and how does it affect your graphics computer? Okay, so in every computer you'll have an application. An application can have certain access to the components of the computer. However, it's very limited. Um, in every uh, computer you usually have a graphics card that would be VRAM and then you have a video driver which translates uh, um, the VRAM and outputs it to the monitor um, in any case you will always ha you need to you need to have some sort of buffer as where you can write your pixels in so then they can be transferred to VRAM uh, your application can do that just well uh, well, the frame buffer can do that just well. What am I saying? All right, so the the application will be draw, will be drawing pixels to the frame buffer, and whenever those pixels are done, it will then be outputted to VRAM. That will be single buffering. But the reason why single buffering is for bad for two reasons. Number one, if I just copy it to VRAM, uh, essentially what I'm doing is I'm drawing it to VRAM, but I'm still allowing my application to draw to it at the same time. Thus, I'll only see half images, right? That makes pretty much sense. I'll see half images of that frame, of the current frame, and then half of the image of the next frame. So it'll be like a lot of uh, tearing and flickering. However, um, also, if I uh, take the frame buffer and let's say I synchronize it. So synchronize it means I would only allow one component of the computer, either my application or VRAM, to use the frame buffer. So then I won't see any flickering. However, this will drastically take down the performance and lower the frame rate. So what is the solution? The solution is double buffering. Double buffering basically allows you to draw to a buffer and read from a buffer simultaneously. Obviously this involves two individual buffers, hence the word double buffering. So what double buffering allows is uh, I can, draw, I can draw to the frame buffer and when I'm done I will actually swap these two buffers. So what used to be the rendering buffer or you know, I'll start like this, what used to be the frame buffer now holds all the pixels now that will turn into the rendering buffer and draw that to VRAM. Then the rendering buffer will be switched and at the same time that the rendering buffer is drawn to VRAM, obviously whatever when they swap, the same time that this buffer will be drawn to VRAM and this buffer will keep on getting data from my application that will be done concurrently, uh, which is um, which means basically the same time. Uh, but there's still a problem here because when do I do the swap? Well, most of us would say we do the swap once my application is done drawing to the frame buffer. Well, the problem with that is is that since the, these are two independent threads of one process, the rendering buffer will not be. Uh, maybe you don't know, maybe it could. Maybe the rendering buffer has not copied all of its contents to VRAM. So VRAM will left short, will be left short when the swap is completed. So if I complete the swap and the frame buffer is now the rendering buffer, again I will see some sort of half image of the previous frame. So then what is the solution? The solution is VSync. VSync allows us to synchronize not a single buffer but double buffers. So basically what it does is when my application finish, finishes drawing to the frame buffer, um, it will then check, it will pause my application until the rendering buffer has um, done drawing to VRAM. And so that's what VSync does because then you will, you, you, will, you will never see any tearing and ripping. And it's much more efficient than uh, single buffering because it's only paused for a very short time. So that is, a, that is it about double buffering. And then I could also discuss how it goes into VRAM, to, video, to the video driver, and whatever you drew gets outputted on the screen. But yeah, that's the innards of, the, of a computer in terms of graphics. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.